Hello everyone, welcome to automation community. Today in this video, we are going to discuss an example which will be about manufacturing line. So let's look at the example first. Manufacturing line assembly. Product should move through three assembly stations with each station operating for 15 seconds. That means there will be different sensors at different stations. Uh, uh, so here we have three assembly stations. So there will be three sensors at each station and that will detect the presence of the product. When a particular uh, sensor gets activated, that means the product is that uh, is at that uh, particular station, then the machine at that particular station will operate for 15 seconds. And after 15 seconds, the conveyor again moves. So there's a conveyor which moves, which carries a product, and when it are, uh, reaches a particular station, the sensor gets activated and the uh, machinery gets activated for 15 seconds. And after 15 seconds, the conveyor will again start and it gets to the assembly too. Uh, there, the sensor gets activated and the uh, and the station will operate for 15 seconds more. And with that, the conveyor will again start and take the product to another station where the machinery will operate for 15 seconds. And then, uh, this product goes through uh, three different stations. So, for this example, we will use normally open contacts, normally closed contacts, and we will be also using some timers like TP and T on. So, let's move to TI portal where we will draw a ladder diagram for this example. So, this is the interface of TI portal. So, firstly, we need to go to PLC tags and then default tag table. So, here, uh, we have to add our inputs and outputs. So, the first input is sensor 1, then we have sensor 2. These are the sensor placed at each station. This is sensor 2, and then we have sensor 3. And then we have one more input that is a start button. And with that we have uh, three different machinery for, uh, for each station. Let's say I will write as station one that represents the machinery, the robot, whatever there may be. It represents uh, that machinery at that particular station. That is then station two, station three. And then we'll go to program blocks and then main OB1. So here we will be drawing ladder diagram for this example. I will zoom into it and then I will insert a normally open contact and then a coil. So this normally open contact represents start button and the coil represents conveyor. So here we have one more output that is a conveyor that may be a motor that runs the conveyor. So this coil will be for conveyor. And then we have some sensors. Let's say I will open the branch here, add a normally open contact. And then a coil. And then I will open the branch here, add a normally open contact and a coil. Then again, I will open the branch, add a normally open contact and a coil. So these are the sensors. Let's say sensor 1, and it is a station 1, and then it is sensor 2, and then we have station 2. And then we have sensor 3 and this is station, sorry we have, uh, I will delete this, delete this 
and delete this. So we need to go to a default tag table as these are the outputs. So its address will start with Q 0.0. So is the case with the others. After that, I will go back to the main OP and the this is conveyor and this is station 1. Then this is station 2 and then this is station 3. And the station 1 will operate for 15 seconds so there will be a timer that is a TP and also station 2 also operates for 15 seconds 15 seconds 15 S means 15 seconds and also station 3 also operates for 15 seconds 15 seconds and when E station is operating conveyor gets uh, off so here we will use some normally close contacts 1 2 and 3 so these represent station 1 station 1 then we have station 2 and then we have station 3. When each of the station is operating, then the conveyor will stop. I will start the simulation now. Click on OK. Click on Load. And then Finish. And after that, I will start the CPU here and then start monitoring. After that, I will switch to the project view. Here, I will create a new project. I will go to simulation tables and then simulation table 1. Right click here and click on load project tax. So as you can see here, when the start button is turned on, the conveyor gets on and then the, uh, the conveyor uh, takes the uh, product to E station and on reaching the station 1 that sensor gets activated that sensor gets activated and then the conveyor gets stopped and the station 1 will operate for uh, 15 seconds and after that the machinery at station 1 will stop and the conveyor again moves. And after that, the product will be moved to the station 2 and that sensor gets activated. As you can see, conveyor gets off and the machinery at that particular station operates for 15 seconds. And in those 15 seconds, conveyor is stopped.
and after 15 seconds the machinery will stop at station 2 and conveyor gets again started. And after that, when sensor 3 gets activated, when the project reaches at sensor station 3 conveyor stop and that particular machinery at that station will operate for 15 seconds. And after 15 seconds, the machinery will stop and the conveyor again starts. The conveyor again, again starts. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.